Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we have another chunky update. This is for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra running One UI 3.0 public beta. So this is update number two. So let's go to my settings right over here. Okay, I'm gonna go into the uh, software update. I'm gonna go into download and install. And as you can see, this one is a quite a large update with tons of bug fixes. We have 766 megabytes worth of updates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the installation process and then I'm gonna be right back to give you all the details on this update, be right back. All right, so real quick while that is updating, I do wanna give you guys a quick present. Here is the wallpaper of the day. So if you want to download this wallpaper for your Samsung Galaxy smartphones, all you wanna do is click the link down below, okay? It's gonna take you to my website and it's gonna be right here on the website. It's wallpaper number one. You simply click on the link. It's gonna take you to the Galaxy Store and you can download and apply this beautiful free wallpaper. As you can see, it is quite stunning. All right, the software has been updated. All right, now let me actually dive in and show you guys what's happening, what's new. Now, right off the bat, the performance and the fluidity of the system has been updated. So now it feels much more stable than before. Like I said, this was a chunky beta update, so we are good to go. It feels more like a normal operational smartphone as opposed to a beta. Now, if I go to my Samsung members application, let's just search for Samsung members. Uh, it's going to be right over here. And that's something I'm seeing for the very first time. It says automatic error reports. You can turn them off, discard them, or send them if there was any problem with the phone. Let's just say send in this scenario because it is a beta. So let Samsung get some extra information. But if I tap on this notice board right here, and if I go inside, we now have the second beta update. And this is dated November the 4th. And if I swipe down just a little bit, you'll notice that we have a huge change log. So this is all the bugs that have been fixed, okay? And then we also have current known issues that have not been fixed yet. But let's take a look at the bug fixes over here. Now this, was, this has been a problem for me on the S20 Ultra, the lock screen music widget was not working properly. That's this thing right over here. If I go here, if I tap on this thing right here, I get the widgets. Now this widget here was causing a lot of errors. Now that's been fixed. I can play and pause music from here when I do have music. Let's go back inside over here. We have some fixes to the calendar, to Bixby, to brightness, and a bunch of other important things. You can pause and read this, but of course the update goes beyond this actually. Uh, even the camera has been improved. I played with this for a couple minutes. It now feels more smooth and more stable. Prior to this update, there was some choppiness. So the camera is now working like it should, okay? No more choppiness, and that's great because I want this to be my primary phone, even with the beta, and now I can use the camera with more confidence. And one more thing I'm gonna check, I'm gonna go to good lock over here. Okay, so let's go to good lock and see if there's any updates to that. Uh, we still have a bunch of applications unplugged, okay? And some of them are working properly, no problem. Uh, but we do have, on this side, we have a lot of them working perfectly. Uh, this one here is, has been installed, just needs to be set up. So the family section is all good to go. The unit section, we have some problems. So most of GoodLock is good to go, except for a few, one, two, three, four of these applications, which should be updated soon and compatible with Android 11 and One UI 3.0. We are now much closer to the official release of the One UI 3.0 for the Note 20 Ultra, S20, S20 Ultra, and all those phones. Probably just a few more months to go. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button. And also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.